Hi, Oddings. Welcome to Stories with Sapphire. I'm your Ate Sapphire. There's a chance you have heard of her or even seen her yourself. The White Lady has been reported all over the world. Her story varies from place to place, but tragedy is always a common thread. This is our take on the Filipino version of The White Lady. And now, it's story time. Mark just had the worst imaginable trip ever. What was supposed to be the honeymoon of his dreams left him widowered in a foreign country. Sometimes accidents happen. His in-laws offered to let him stay with them in Quezon City, but Mark wanted nothing more than to get back home to Los Angeles. He raced down the narrow roads in his rental car, his mind playing the event over and over in his mind. Was there anything he could have done differently? Why did it have to be her? He was jostled out of his thought loop when the car hit something on the road and swerved. He stopped and got out to inspect. The back driver's side tire was flat, of course. Luckily, he'd done this before and was able to easily swap out the tire for the spare. When he closed the trunk, he saw that someone was now in the car. Um, hello? Uh, can I help you? Do you need something? He carefully walked to the door. But when he looked in the back seat again, it was empty. Must have been a shadow, he thought to himself. It was late and he was not well. He ran back into the car and hastily drove away. The seatbelt warning flashed. Mark buckled himself in. But the signal continued ringing. His eyes glanced at the rearview mirror. Staring back at him was a woman. Startled, Mark slammed on the brakes. He looked in the rearview mirror again, but this time his fear subsided. He knew who this woman was. He would have recognized that dress anywhere. It was his wife, Annie. Hi, Langa. I've missed you. I, I don't understand. How, how are you here? He began slapping his face, but Annie put her hand on his shoulder. She felt warm. He missed that feeling. I wasn't kidding when I told you about how magical my homeland was. The couple giggled and embraced. That familiar lavender scent engulfed Mark. The radio clicked on and their favorite song began to play. Even if he was just hallucinating, Mark didn't care. He was the happiest he'd been since the accident. We were supposed to spend the rest of our lives together. I don't know how to live without you here. What if I told you there was a way for us to be together again? Yes, dear, absolutely anything. I'll tell you where to go. Are we going to one of those healers you've mentioned before? Is resurrection really possible? And he smiled and nodded. They raced down the long, unlit road as fast as the thoughts raced in Mark's mind. He was happy and confused and worried, but also excited to reunite with his wife. And he pressed her hand on Mark's knee, forcing him to accelerate. 80. 90 and now over a hundred miles per hour. Mark was getting a little nervous. He tried to push Annie's hand away, but she wouldn't budge. It will be quick and painless, and then we'll be together again. Mark now understood what his wife wanted him to do. His survival instincts and his grief were at war in his mind. But intoxicated by the lavenders and the music, Mark decided that he wanted this moment to last forever. He turned to kiss Annie and realized the mistake he made. If only his wife had warned him of the stories she'd heard when she was a child, then he would have known 
You never trust a woman in white on Belete Drive. Because of their size, Belete trees are thought to house spirits and supernatural creatures. Belete Drive in the Philippines was named for the trees that used to line it. It's said that if you're driving down that road at night, do not pick up any women dressed in white. Once in your car, you will see her true hideous form and she will try to cause a fatal accident so you can suffer like she did. What would you have done if you were in Mark's position? If you don't want nightmares tonight, subscribe to my channel and like and share this video. Submit your own stories to storieswithsapphire at gmail.com. For more spooky, supernatural, and spiritual stories, listen to the Stories with Sapphire podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. If you like what you saw and would like to support this independently run show, head over to patreon.com slash storieswithsapphire. Until we meet again, sleep tight.